Let's start with why you need to brush your dog's teeth daily. So as your dog eats, plate usually begins to form hours after they have a meal. Over the next 24 hours, plate will begin to harden by combining with salt in their saliva. So if the teeth are not brushed daily, it will continue to accumulate and turn into tartar. To know if your dog has tartar, you can observe the area around the gum line and see if there's any change in the color of their teeth, such as yellow or brown, and also if there's any rough texture in the teeth, and that's usually the sign of tartar. Note that once the tartar is formed, most of the time it's not something you will be able to brush off anymore, and it will need to be removed professionally before it gets worse. However, what brushing does is that it helps prevent more tartar from building up and keep the gum line stays relatively healthy. As tartar forms in their teeth, it can open the door for bacteria to grow in their mouth. It can lead to periodontal disease with gingivitis, bad breath, gum recession, bone loss, missing teeth, and silent pain and suffering. Remember that dogs can't talk, and also they're usually very good at hiding pain. So most of the time, you won't be able to notice anything wrong with them until it's too late and the problem has already gotten more serious. And the worst part is that it doesn't stop there. The bacteria in their mouth, if not taken care of in a timely manner, can find its way into the bloodstream and start affecting different organs such as the heart, liver, and kidney. That's the answer to the why you need to brush your dog's teeth. Let's talk about how to get them used to tooth brushing. So you will start by gently touching their mouth to get them used to the motion of your fingers reaching over to their mouth and then quickly say yes and reward them with treats. Do that for a couple of times until they seem comfortable with the motion and from there try using your hand to lift up the lip and again say yes and reward with treats. This step is to get them used to the handling of you pulling their lip. From there use your finger to touch their teeth, praise and reward to get them used to their teeth being touched. After that it's time to introduce a toothbrush. I usually use the small side of this double-sided dog toothbrush brush to accommodate my dog's small mouth. I'll link all the products I use in this video in the description box. You can start presenting the toothbrush in front of them and praise and treat so that they begin to form a positive association with this new novel thing that they've never seen before. Praise and reward any interaction with the toothbrush. After doing that for a couple of times, it's time to introduce them to the toothpaste. So a couple of important things to note here. First, you have to use a dog toothpaste. Do not use a human toothpaste as it often contains ingredients that are toxic to your dogs. Second, dog toothpaste often comes in different flavors such as poultry, beef, seafood. Choose a flavor that your dog loves and that usually makes the brushing a lot easier. I personally use this brand in poultry flavor. Again, I'll put the link below. So from there, begin to put the toothpaste on the toothbrush and wait for them to lick it and then praise and reward them again. If the dog loves the toothpaste, this step should be super easy and it can serve as a reward in and of itself. After that, you can start brushing your dog's teeth. Keep it short and sweet in the beginning. I would really do two seconds at first just to get them used to the teeth being brushed and then praise them loud and reward them with several treats. Try to make it a very positive experience for them. Keep repeating this step and gradually increase the brushing time to 5 seconds, 10 seconds. Okay, so now that your dog is comfortable getting their teeth brushed, let's talk about how to properly brush their teeth. So when it comes to brushing dog's teeth, you actually don't have to brush the inside of their teeth as the tongue usually takes care of it for you. So you just have to focus on the outside of their teeth which makes it a lot easier easier. I usually like to start by brushing the molars and premolars of both the upper and lower teeth on one side first and I do that by lifting up in order to brush those teeth at the very far back in their mouth and then I put on more toothpaste and do the same thing with the other side. After I'm done with those teeth, I put on more toothpaste and use two of my fingers to lift their lip up as you can see here to start brushing their front teeth. This is the most difficult part as dogs usually dislike getting their incisors and canine teeth brushed. But with practice and consistency, you'll get there. So I hope you find this video helpful and if you did, please click on the like and subscribe button to help us reach more people and help more dogs. Thank you and bye! Thank you.